Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, people said Vivek Ramaswamy was crazy. He was insane, a nut job, a nutcase. Why exactly? Well, a lot of the times it was because of this stance. The FBI. This should not exist. It was corrupt in 1960. The same education, the same FBI that threatened Martin Luther King Jr. with suicide as a corrupt body is now targeting Donald Trump and its political opponents today. We will not tame that beast. We will kill it. We will shut it down. This is what it means to be an American. He promised to shut down, reform, and rebuild what he views as deeply corrupted, politically compromised federal agencies. And people said he's an absolute nut job, a nutcase, for even suggesting something so insane. But the question is, is it really that insane? Is it really that crazy? Or does he have a point? Well, you probably get exactly where I'm going with this. Vivek Ramaswamy certainly has a point, as once again another member of one of the three-letter agencies spills the beans, exposes how they got their thumb on the scales, this time involving Alex Jones. We have a secret clip here from Sound Investigations, where a contracting officer at the Central Intelligence Agency essentially admits the quiet part out loud that yes, what you suspect they're doing is exactly what they're doing. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so let's take a look at the initial post by Sound Investigations. They write, Breaking, CIA officer slash former FBI boasts can put anyone in jail, set him up. We call it a nudge. The FBI did what we wanted with Alex Jones, took his money away, chop his legs off, and estimates 20 undercover FBI agents at January 6, who he now works with some of them at the CIA, and also said, that the FBI uses embellished news and fake social media to really get people mad. Take a look. It's an eight minute video. I'll try to cut it as best as I can, but just take a look. As long as the Bureau is able to progress far enough to be able to put pro-lifers in jail whenever they want. Yeah. You think that's on the agenda? We can, we can, you can kind of put anyone in jail if you know what to do. How? You set them up. You create the situation to where they have no choice but to act on their impulse. And once they act on that impulse, then we call that entrapment. It's a fine line. So they can entrap some of these pro-lifers into doing things that they Depending, don't... yeah. We call it a nudge. A nudge. A nudge. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta give them a quick look just to see what happens, right? And how does that happen? You put a post out there or you have someone fake profile say something that triggers that we know is going to trigger them right like we, we already know your history if we're to that point we already know everything about it so we're like oh this will piss them off sometimes you like the fuse and just wait for it to follow right like a railing mm -hmm. like a oh so when a railing happens that sometimes that the bureau behind it yeah sometimes Nothing like putting out a fake social media thing to like really get people mad. Mm-hmm. Well, it's fake news. Sometimes it's, <laughs> mm. it's not fake. It's embellished a little bit. Who would be like a big influence that you're, influencer that you're after? Oh, Alex wow. Jones. Yeah, so we were after him. You are? Before. Are you still after him? No. Why? Because he's broke. He got found guilty and had to pay like $100 million. And the goal with him was what? Just to bankrupt him? Oh, uh, pretty much. And we let the families do it. And the, what? We let the families do it. Were they encouraged to do that by the Bureau? Like, nudged? We don't encourage people. But, like, we, we just say there's no federal statute being broken. But you do have the option for a civil, for a civil case. And it's a pretty good case. Nice. In our opinion. So, oh, that makes so much sense. I have a cousin who's a lawyer, mm -hmm. so that's a lot of these cases, they're, they're kind of encouraged by the FBI? Yeah, like, there's nothing federally, federal law we can do, but civilly, we can go at them that way, and chop his legs off. And they did? Yeah. So the FBI was happy? We didn't care, we were like, oh. Basically, the citizens did your job? Yeah. Wow, so you can encourage a civil lawsuit. Not encourage. Educate. I thought you said that there were FBI agents in the crowd at J6. There are. There always are when there's a big protest in DC. Just in case it gets out of hand like that. They, but what, there, they wasn't, there wasn't thing. enough to turn that tide. I mean, I'm talking they maybe have it 20. You needed a thousand to get rid of that crowd. 
So they had like, tw oh, that was a, just 20? Yeah, just to go through there and see what I can hear, you know, that kind of thing. Wow. That, yeah, definitely. They needed a thousand at least. Wow. Well, see, that's also Capitol Police jurisdiction. They're in charge. So that, Why yeah. they didn't have more on hand, I don't know. The Bureau didn't really want people knowing that they were in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Because that would be overstepping their bounds. A little bit. Do people know that? Did, Why? Did people know that the Bureau was in the crowd? No, nope, and probably never will. Uh, do you know agents that were there? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. They're the agency now. <laughs> You know, initially what I wanted to say here was absolutely shocking. I recorded that part and then I deleted it and I'm going to re-record. Well, this is me re-recording it because it's not shocking. You know, in a way it's shocking, but it's just not surprising enough to really shock. You know, we're just completely desensitized to this stuff. What it feels like, once again, is like I said in the intro, just another three-letter agent saying the quiet part out loud. That this is what they do. And they boast about it. We can put anyone in jail. We can set them up. We commanded the FBI to go after Alex Jones and take his money away. I'm going to go right back to the initial question. Is Vivek Ramaswamy really that crazy? Of course not. And you know, this doesn't really even scratch the surface. This is small stuff compared to some of the other scandals we've seen. I mean, for Pete's sakes, the CIA and the FBI actively colluded with Joe Biden's campaign during the 2020 election to get him elected or rather to stop Donald Trump. We know that that happened thanks to the Twitter files and most importantly, thanks to that infamous email between two CIA actors, Mike Morell and John Brennan, where they basically admit it all. Here's Mike Morell sending an email to John Brennan Brennan, writing, John, can I add your name to the list? We'll be adding Leon, Sue Gordon, yada, 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 and working on some other names, a lot of other IC career folk trying to give the campaign, particularly during the debate on Thursday, a talking point to push back on Trump on this issue. Thanks, Mike. Then John Brennan says, okay, Mike, I'll add my name to the list. Good initiative. Thanks for asking to sign me on. What that initiative was, or what the letter was, of course, was the infamous 51 former intelligence officials signing on to a letter declaring, by intelligence decree, that the Hunter Biden laptop story was Russian disinfo. And then, of course, all the major outlets simply ran with the story. National security. Hunter Biden's story is Russian disinfo, dozens of former intel officials say. This is what they do. In fact, this is what they've been doing. You know, you see the trends, you see the common denominators. Look at the arbitrary numbers. I mean, the massive fines they're slapping on Donald Trump. Initially in New York, they hit him with a nearly $500 million fine over a non-existent crime. Then, of course, there's the Alex Jones verdict. He said something that was obvious distasteful and wrong, which he's admitted for, I think, over a decade at this point. And what was the justified penalty there? A billion dollar fine. So we were after him. You are? He did what we wanted. Which was what? Took his money away. Chopped his legs off. You know, you're probably starting to put two and two together now, aren't you? They've got their thumbs on the scale. You know, maybe it's not the entire organization as a whole, but you certainly have a good chunk of rogue agents at these agencies working on behalf of the deep state uniparty. How many more of these incidents do we need to uncover to realize that there's clearly a problem here? There's clearly something going on. There's clearly very deep-seated corruption in these agencies and obvious weaponization of the justice justice system. You know, I guess Vivek Ramaswamy wasn't that crazy after all, now was he? Not much else that needs to be said. Wake up, smell the coffee. It doesn't take that much to wake up. It's not like you need to hunt. You don't need to do investigative research. They're basically admitting the quiet part out loud. And you know what? Here's probably the perfect way to end the video. Alex Jones actually responded to this bombshell secret recording, so we'll end the video with his perspective. But now that this has come out, this is a FBI agent, a CIA boss, He's a contract manager over large contract operations. That's a boss. Uh, that's like a mini section chief saying all of this and and admitting all of this like it's no big deal. He needs to be subpoenaed by Congress. It's a government racketeering operation uh, using cutouts. And look, I mean, they come after my mother, my father, my wife uh, in these mediations. They've said, listen, just come out against the Second Amendment and we'll drop all this. I mean, they've done that repeatedly. Um, and uh, they've even said, listen, we're a mafia and there's nothing you can do to stop us to my face in front of my lawyer, in front of Norm Pass. Uh, and, and so they're very arrogant. I mean, these are the sellouts. These are the traitors. These are the people that really love being under the corrupt FBI's wings, under the CIA's wings. They get a thrill. They get to go out and persecute fellow Americans, lie about them, say all these horrible things and then say you said it, steal your identity silence you so they can all pile in on you, make movies about themselves with judges and flashbulbs and, oh, we're so great. We we went out and got the big Goliath. 
no, no, you guys are the Goliath. I'm the David. You misrepresented what I did to make me a monster, and it's backfired. That's it. That's what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.